Jake Paul loses, a restaurant bans kids and everyone cheers, Ford wants cars to repossess themselves, and Buckley gives advice to people who actually asked for it. That's the March exclusives at patreon.com slash dose of Buckley. Around the year 1600, William Shakespeare wrote, All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. 420-some years later, this is taken literally by the TikTok twerps who believe that every public place is their personal studio, and every bystander is an extra. I talked about this last year in my Hey TikTokers, the world is not your playground video. And of course, the problem hasn't gotten any better. And one place where it's gotten worse is gyms. Every asshole with a pair of tights thinks they're Kiana Tom, or for you Canadians in the audience, Hal Johnson and Joanne McLeod. All these fitness influencers, ranging from people who seem to maybe have other people's best interests at heart and want to pass on some sort of knowledge, to the flat-out narcissists who think people care about following them on their fitness journey. Like we were all watching Frodo do all that walking to Mount Doom to develop a dump truck ass. Narcissus at a gym, Buckley? Well, I would never have thought you'd find that kind of behavior there. I know, absurd, right? No, of course it makes sense that all these people whose lives revolve around improving their physical appearance also think everyone wants to follow them on TikTok, Instagram, etc. But recently, a number of these people have gone viral for their sheer entitlement in their belief that they have every right to film themselves at the gym without any interference from anyone else. I need to start by giving credit where credit is due. A lot of these I first saw from Joey Swole. Now, when I heard about a guy named Joey Swole and then saw a picture of him, my first thought wasn't exactly, oh, I bet this guy's providing some really intelligent discourse into the subject of public recording in gyms. But you can't judge a book by its insanely ripped and jacked cover. This guy isn't some dumb jock. He's very articulate, incredibly empathetic, He's got a bunch of videos, for example, where he calls out assholes who will film someone using a machine weird, being like, if you're not going to help them, leave them alone and mind your own business. And he's very positive toward people who are, let's say, very clearly in the very first steps of their fitness journey. Everyone's got to start somewhere, and it's never too late, right? So, I like this Joey Swole fella. So, through him, I've also seen some of the other narcissistic behavior being filmed at gyms. But unlike him, I'm not quite as nice about it. First, we have this shit. People who get upset that someone gets in their shot while they're making their little TikToks. The first one, this girl's doing lunges off a bench when, oh no, someone walked through her shot? Well, this entire workout's ruined. I won't receive any gains today because the camera was blocked by someone walking through a public area. Then the next one, this girl's trying to film herself doing, I don't even know what and a guy tells her he doesn't want to be in the shot. So she calls him a male Karen in the caption. In both these cases, these women posted this believing they were in the right, that they'd post it and their drooling idiot followers would go, oh my God, why people not have no respect for people filming themselves at gym stay home? And it's not just women, you got these guys. Dipshit number one, filming himself in the mirror of the change rooms. A guy asking him if he'd stop filming, and he's like, No, just walk through, just walk through. It's captioned, If you're too insecure to be in my video, then make a home gym and stay home, pussy. Again, dude thinks he's in the right. He's got a camera recording in the fucking change rooms. You look like Millhouse in the photo booth when he's like, Ugh, my shirt fell off. And you're calling other people names? Either way, Film yourself at home. We have another one of these dudes. Says, just filming my progress. Gets told that it's probably illegal to film in a dressing room, which it probably is. And he's like, well, call the cops then. It's insane to me that any of these people posted these videos themselves. But this is how up their own ass they are. Truly believing that everyone would agree with them. And that any of this is reasonable behavior. Then we have the professional victims. Let's start with the one many of you may have seen. This girl getting ready to do this insane pelvic thrust exercise that I've never seen a single human being do before in my life until it started trending on the internet. And, uh-oh, a male looked over at her. <gasps> he then offers to help her with the weight because it looks like she's struggling. She declines his help, so he leaves. 
She ends the video with these captions. What if I just ripped his pee pee out of its socket so he could never reproduce again? He's going to jail for staring at an underage 21 year old. <laughs> what? And natural selection better take the weirdos out. You know what's weirdo behavior? You trapping yourself under a weight and air humping while filming yourself doing it. This is why people look at you in the gym, everyone. Most people, in my experience, and yes, I know I'm a noodle arm motherfucker, but I spent years going to the gym four days a week to keep this figure. Anyway, in my experience, most people mind their own business. We only look over when we see someone doing weird shit. Fucking around with your camera, struggling with weights, filming yourself doing exercises is weird shit. Or at least it was before social media convinced everyone and their stepsister that they need to film every aspect of their lives and put it on the internet because, oh, I'm just oh so interesting. Everyone needs to see me. We have a couple more examples. Here's a girl who's going to do some lunges down a track while holding weights. Camera pointed at her ass, but well, oh, a guy looked over at her. Gross. Anyway, back to filming my ass. And here we have another one. I call this one two girls, one ball. They look over and there's a guy checking them out. I have no idea what they're going to be doing. Camera pointed directly at her ass again, though. And this is the part that kills me the most. All these videos are like, oh, don't look at me at the gym. You're a creep. Are there creeps at the gym? Oh, 100%. But you know where there are even more creeps? On the internet. Girl doing lunges with the camera pointed at your ass. Who do you think is watching this? People who want to learn how to do lunges? They ain't gonna learn that from you. Back hunched over, knee touching the ground every stride, clearly holding more weight than you can handle. You're not qualified to teach this exercise, and no one cares about your fitness journey. The guys looking at your squat videos and Instagram progress pics are doing their own wrist and forearm exercises to them. And you're like, a guy glanced at me at the gym. You posted this shit to be looked at. So, what's wrong with someone looking at you work out live? Is it because it doesn't count as a like or a view on your videos? There's no engagement? They won't see the sponsored posts on your Insta for some shitty supplement or Indonesian-made superhero tights you're wearing? Their live view is worthless. You don't want anyone looking at you while you work out? Film yourself at home. In fact, they should just institute a full-on no-camera policy at every gym. Oh, but that'll hurt so many gym influencers. Good. Who the fuck are you? I know you're not a certified personal trainer because those fuckers don't give shit away for free. You think someone wants 50 bucks an hour to yell, one more, come on, at you is going to teach you how to exercise for free on the internet? No. These are all just people whose credentials aren't any better than yours. Oftentimes, they don't know shit. You get the ones who make videos like, Stop doing these high-impact exercises and do this much easier exercise. It'll get you shredded even faster. <laughs> yeah, that's surely how exercise works. The easier it is, the more in shape you'll get from doing it. At Planet Fitness, they have this thing called the Lunk Alarm. It's a real thing. If people are dropping weights or grunting excessively or they look like they might actually be performing an exercise correctly, an alarm goes off. And then a 120 pound employee comes over and goes, excuse me, but you're disturbing the people who just came here for the free pizza on Fridays and are walking on the treadmills while watching the mass Singer. Well, anyway, they should have one of those for people filming themselves. Whenever they see someone's got their phone set up to record their exercises, a spotlight shines on them. Then a voice says, attention all guests, we have a celebrity in the house. Everyone, please stop what you're doing and look at the famous person. They are desperate for your attention. They need it. They want it. They crave it. And please remember, they do have more followers than you and therefore are more important. So please do not get in their way. Do not use a machine that they want to use and do not talk to them or make direct eye contact with them. Thank you, celebrity, for gracing us with your presence today. We are honored that you've decided to film your low angle ass exercises in our establishment and can't wait to like your videos when we get home if you know what I mean.